What happened before the events of fear? How is Paxton Fettel linked to Alma? And where was Point Man before the events of Fear 3? During the introduction of Fear 3, Point Man is captured and held within a cell. But how did he get there? These are the topics I'll cover for this video, along with some connections to other parts of the story. If you don't know anything about Fear, here's the story so far. Alma Wade was the daughter of a scientist named Harlan Wade. She was born with tremendous psychic powers, and there was no explanation as to how she acquired these gifts. Alma's mother passed away during labor, so she never really got to bond with her. Harlan Wade brought his daughter to Armacam Technology Corporation when she was just three years old. She was tested for every type of psychic power. Because of her gifts, she suffered nightmares. Her powers also allowed her to tune into the negative emotions of the people around her. Alma underwent these tests for many years. She even failed some of them on purpose, hoping they would stop everything. But it only continued. Harlan Wade was warned about Alma being too dangerous, and eventually, she would have to be sealed away somewhere. Everyone knew this day would come. Harlan Wade barely showed any sign of sympathy for Alma's well-being. He was more focused on the research about her psychic abilities. Her powers were extremely dangerous, so she was locked in a vault and placed into a coma. This would then neutralize her psychic abilities from causing harm to others in the facility. She was part of Project Origin, and the purpose of this was to create psychic individuals from a psychic host. She was then impregnated two times on purpose with DNA mixed from Origin researchers and Harlan Wade himself. Since a very young age, Alma was tormented and she never got to experience growing up in a normal life. The first son was born when Alma was 15 years old. This was Point Man, but his psychic abilities were almost non-existent. He was instead gifted with enhanced reflexes, giving him extremely dangerous combat abilities. The second son was Paxton Fettel, which was only a year later. This subject would have psychic abilities. Paxton Fettel was part of the Project Perseus. Its mission was to produce a psychic commander that could issue orders to replica soldiers via telepathy. Alma would merge her consciousness with Paxton Fettel when he was just 10 years old. This was then called the First Synchronicity Event. This made Pax and Fettel very violent, resulting in the deaths of staff members. Alma's body was then removed from life support, and her body died soon after. But her psychic energy remained inside the vault with her corpse. The facility was then shut down for around 20 years. By the time Fettel was 24 years old, a successful link between himself and replica soldiers was created. He also started having dreams of killing people and cannibalizing them. Armacam tried to find the source of these dreams, but there was nothing linked to Alma, so the reason for these intentions remained a mystery. ATC President Jean-Vierre Aristide reopened the Origin facility, even though ATC scientists told her that Alma's psychic powers were still lingering in the area. A team was sent in to investigate, but they were wiped out by Alma. This reopening caused Paxton Fettel to go through a psychotic breakdown, and he turned homicidal. There was a Dark Horse comic book that goes into detail about the second synchronicity event. Paxton Fettel is seen within a cell of the ATC headquarters. When a voice speaks to him, he responds by saying, Who are you? Why are you in my head? What do you want? The voice explains its motives, and Paxton then says, you are me. We are one. Show me your pain. Make me understand. Some guards are seen discussing about Paxton Fettel and the replicas. These soldiers are replicas. Mindless clones. Fettel is their mind. He's a psychic commander who can direct their actions with his thoughts. It's only happened one time before, but when it did, his brain waves changed. It was like Someone else had entered his mind. They increased security because the first synchronization event resulted in a few casualties. This scene is later showed after the credits in Fear 3. Paxton Fettel is met by Alma. Shortly after, his mind goes absolutely crazy. 
As more guards enter the room, their heads begin to explode. It's as if Fettel's powers were amplified somehow, but soon enough, other guards are able to stop him. As we return to the comic book, an image of a little girl is seen on a video camera. One guard assumes it's just interference from a broadcast signal, but they still decide to check it out. Paxton Fettel is seen talking to someone. Both of us. We've both been used. They know where you are. They'll try to stop me from finding you, but they'll have to tell me. I'll see to that. They used us both. They caused you great pain. Show me. Show me, and they will pay. The door to his cell opens, and Alma appears. Her memories would be seen by Paxton Fettel. All the tests, all the torment, all the tears, all the pain, he saw it all. Paxton saw everything Alma had gone through as a child. It was time to make them pay. A guard would be seen patrolling a hallway. He sees nothing. The little girl they saw earlier must have been caused by interference. The last image is of Paxton Fettel exiting his cell. As the guard starts to turn around, Alma appears before him but she's hanging upside down from the ceiling. The guard starts to feel some type of pain, and his flesh burns away as the scene ends. Paxton is then seen walking through the hallways of ATC headquarters. He approaches a guard monitoring the cameras and kills him instantly. Replica soldiers begin attacking the ATC staff members, shooting everyone they come in contact with. Paxton Fettel would sneak up on one man and ask him, Tell me where you're keeping Alma. The man says he doesn't know who Alma is. Paxton says, your tongue can lie, but your flesh will tell me everything. The last scene in the comic book shows Paxton Fettel cannibalizing someone's body, and in this process, he's able to gain the person's memories. As it gets up, he says, he deserved to die. They all deserve to die. And the comic book ends here. If you played the first game, you'll know that Point Man eventually meets up with Paxton Fettel and puts a bullet through his head. You also see Alma being released from the vault by Harlan Wade. His body is then also destroyed by Alma. The facility is destroyed in a huge explosion and Alma is set free. But you still survived and are picked up by Holiday and Jin Sun Kwan in a helicopter. The ending shows Alma boarding your helicopter as you make your escape from the area. What happens next depends on which sequel you're reading. There are two expansion packs for the original game. Extraction Point continues right after the first game. Where the helicopter ends up crashing, Point Man, Holiday, and Jin try to escape a city they are in. Perseus Mandate is the other expansion pack, but it does not follow the story right after the first game. It tends to go in a different direction. These two expansions are regarded as taking place in an alternate universe. There was a short digital comic which was part of Fear 2. It was a few scenes of what happened after the helicopter crash in the original Fear game. Jin looks around for Holiday, but doesn't see him or Point Man near the crash. Nobody is around. She looks at the ground nearby, and a trail of bloody footprints are leading away from the helicopter. The sound of a person is heard behind Jin. It's the pilot. He might still be alive. She turns to look at him, and he asks, Jin, what happened? Jin responds back to him. Bremer, I'm glad to see you made it. But a line of blood drips down his ear. Something's not right. Bremer starts screaming from a sudden pain in his head. It gets stronger and stronger until the flesh on his face explodes. Bremer is gone. As his corpse falls down, Alma is seen in front of the helicopter. She followed them after the explosion of the facility. The camera zooms in, and the screen fades to black. This is one scenario of what happened after the ending of the first game. During the demo of Fear 2, Paxton Fettel can be heard talking about Alma. This dialogue was later removed from the full version of the game, but here's what he says. Miss Alma. She was 8 years old the last time she stood in sunlight. In her life. She has known nothing but pain. It is the way of men to make monsters. It is the nature of monsters to destroy their makers. 
Alma had children at a very young age. Despite all the pain, suffering, loneliness, and isolation she went through, her two children were something she wanted to hold on to. But when they were taken away from her, her angry spirit would not rest. This is why Alma is seen as a vengeful ghost. In the story of Fear Two, Michael Beckett showed signs of psychic powers at a young age, but ATC wiped his memory of the experiment, so he does not remember any of this. He was later seen to excel in military combat. He underwent a surgical procedure that would attune his psychic signal to match Alma Wade's. Beckett was then used as bait. This is why Alma would chase him throughout the campaign of Fear Two. In the end, she became pregnant with Michael Beckett's child and escaped. So now let's talk about Fear Two's DLC. It was simply called Reborn. The intro shows Paxton Fettel in a cell with some dialogue. He says this. The war has begun, just as I dreamed it would, just as I foresaw. Dreams are all I have now, dreams of death, of blood and fire, of her. The time has come to awaken, to be reborn. You are the key. Foxtrot eight one three is the main character of interest. It appears to be another replica soldier. It lands in the city and immediately comes in contact with ATC forces. You would meet up with the rest of your squad, but would start to have hallucinations. The rest of your squad appears to look like ghostly images or some unknown assailants. As you fight against them, Foxtrot eight one three would gain the slow mo ability. He would lose contact with command leader and the other replica soldiers. An image of Paxton Fettel would appear in a flash. He would speak out to you, saying these words: "Do you see? You are different from the others. They are meaningless now. They are ghosts. You must set me free." When your hallucination ends, you realize that the ghosts you attacked were other replica soldiers, part of your squad. So now you are marked for termination. As you make your escape, Paxton Fettel would appear to you in various places. As if he was guiding you or controlling you to go somewhere. When you free Paxton Fettel, you stand before him as he wants to look upon you. He has dreamed of this moment and calls you his brother. The ghostly image of Paxton Fettel starts to fade away, and it is believed that his ghost has now acquired a new body that looks just like his original self. He is now reborn. A possible theory as to why Foxtrot eight one three looked like Paxton Fettel could have been linked from Perseus' mandate. The ending shows the Nightcrawlers were able to get a sample of the DNA that belonged to Paxton Fettel. Perhaps they cloned him at some point in time. But since the expansion packs for the original game take place in either a different universe or a different timeline, it's really hard to connect this to Fear Two or Fear Two Reborn. Or maybe he was cloned from a young age when Harlan Wade noticed that Fettel had psychic abilities, and throughout all this time, it could have been kept a secret. You see, there's no clear answer, but these are just two theories of mine. It's also hard to say if this new body ties into Fear Three at all, or if this is just a standalone story. And this brings us to the introduction of Fear Three. Point Man is being held captive in a cell somewhere. He's being asked about Jin Sun Quan, but he does not respond. The game did not say how he ended up here, but there was a prequel comic book that does explain this. It takes place right after the ending of the first game. After he escaped with Holiday and Jin, Alma appears on the chopper. She kills the pilot, and they crash. This comic book prequel connects the first and third game together. After the helicopter crashes, we do get a glimpse of Point Man. But his mask is damaged, so he takes it off from here. He searches the burning helicopter for any survivors, but there's nobody left to help. Since Jin appears later in Fear Three, you can assume she left the crash site early on. But Point Man is then attacked by someone. His body goes flying until it slams into a nearby car. A voice speaks out to him, saying, "This time to wake up." This voice sounds familiar. Could it be? It is him. It's Paxton Fettel. 
He warns Point Man, "They're coming for you. You'd better run." But Point Man ignores him and fires his weapon upon Fettel. But the bullets seem to have no effect, so he decides to run off and see what he should do next. Meanwhile, Fettel simply taunts him in the distance. Yes, that's it. Run. You can run, but you can't hide. Point Man turns down an alley and keeps on running. A trail of bloody footprints can be seen. This could be a sign that Elma is nearby. Up ahead, we see a few enemy soldiers confronting Point Man, but his quick reflexes gives him the upper hand. He dodges them and returns fire, taking the small group down. Fatal looks at what Point Man did to the group of men he encountered and says, "Bravo! You are still mother's little killing machine, aren't you?" Point Man looks back. But gives no response. Point Man continues to run some more. He needs to escape this area. Somebody is looking for him. But to make matters worse, a fiery pit forms in front of him, stopping him in his tracks. It is Alma. No matter where he runs, Alma will always find him. The three of them are joined together. Not the best timing, but it's something Fettel seems to look forward to. He says this: "Quite a reunion." We are drawn together. Do you know why? Point Man doesn't want any part of this and just runs off again. Fettel tells him, "You can't run forever." But this time, it turns out that running only led him to a dead end. He's then surrounded by armored cam military forces. It seems like there's no way out this time. Amongst the enemies, we can see a phase commander, which makes an appearance in Fear Three later on. He simply says to Point Man. End of the line, lab rat. One of the soldiers hits Point Man with the butt of the rifle and knocks him out. His body is taken away by the phase commander. Fettel's last words to Point Man are this: "Next time, maybe you'll listen to your brother." And this connects to the opening of Fear Three, where we see Point Man tied up and held captive, as ATC guards are asking him for the location of Jin Sun Quan. And this brings us to the end of the video. This explains what happened before the events of Fear, what happened after Fear, and where was Point Man before Fear Three. And as for the story in Fear Three, during Point Man's ending, for some reason he's now able to damage Fettel's ghost. Maybe it has something to do with physical contact, but I don't know. After a few shots into the head, Fettel's ghost fades and burns away. Alma dies giving birth to her new child, and Point Man carries it with them as Alma's body. Burns away, and in Fettel's ending, he takes control of Point Man's body and takes the child, planning to have it serve him later on. But his last act is consuming Alma's body, maybe to make him more unstoppable. Perhaps he gained her powers in the process, but it's a pretty gruesome ending. So that covers some lore within the Fear franchise. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like on it, and to see more lore videos over different franchises, just subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. This is Acid Glow, and I'll see you in the next video. We still don't know the extent of the damage. We haven't been able to get through to anyone since the explosion. What about Alma? What happened to her? What was that sound?